Welcome back. So in this video, we will start detailing this house just a little bit. We'll add some windows and some doors and um, some plumbing fixtures and maybe some cabinetry in the kitchen. Um, I'll probably leave some of it up to your imagination. You can continue to fill it in if you wish to. Um, the focus of our work is really structural, so this is just, um, just like an added bonus for you. So. Um, anyway, so I want to start off with uh, some windows and doors. If we go back to the original plan, um, this is what it looks like. So we've got a starting from the lower left or the lower right hand corner, got that kitchen window. Um, then we've got an, a bay that is in the great room and uh, it's got a sliding door in it. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to find that exact unit, but we'll take a look. Uh, I think it's a little strange to have a house that only has sliding doors uh, to the exterior. Um, so I'm, I'm going to propose that we put in a swing door someplace. And then the bedroom has a pair of sliding doors. And then there are some windows in each one of the bedrooms. And then a small window in the bathroom. If we go upstairs, we've got a small window here above the great room. I think that one can probably grow a little bit. And then a slider on the back wall going out to the balcony that we did not build. So I'm going to make that a pair of windows instead of a sliding door. So we're, we're taking some liberties, but I think you'll get the idea and you'll be able to deal with it. No problem. Um, so the first thing that we need to do, so windows, um, there is a tool on the architecture ribbon called window. Uh, it is easiest if you are in a floor plan view when you place windows. Um, windows have a, um, oops, save the project. Windows, if I'm in a floor plan view, have a sill height that is fixed. If I'm in a 3D view, then I, I can put the window any place on the wall that I want and they could all be different heights and now I'm going to spend hours aligning the tops of my windows or whatever I want to do. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to the first floor plan and um, let's start over here in the kitchen and I'm going to pick a small window and just kind of stick it in the middle of the kitchen wall. We might have to adjust that later when we put in cabinets and things like that. It may not be exactly what we want, uh, but it'll give you the idea. So up on the architecture tab, I, um, on the ribbon, I click on window. And if I click the drop down here to look at the windows that are loaded, um, I've got some casement doubles, some double hungs, and some fixed with trim. I think the uh, double hung will be just fine. I am going to use, boy, those are all very tall. So 24 inches wide by 42 inches tall. If I want my kitchen counter to be underneath that, that is probably way too big. I probably want a 24 by 30 uh, would be my guess. So how am I going to do that? Well, if I'm in my uh, place window command, then on this ribbon, I have a load family button. Go ahead and click load family. That takes me to the Imperial Library. And if I slide down, um, I slide down to the bottom of that I have a folder called Windows so I double click on Windows and here I've got a whole bunch of stuff uh, that I can choose from so uh, one of the things that you need to know if you just click once on one of these it shows you a preview to the right hand side of that window it shows you a preview of what the thing looks like um, if you're not sure what it's what it's talking about so I think that this wants to be a double hung window or maybe a casement. Let's make it a casement. Um, casement single left. So it's just going to be kind of a, a window like that. I'm going to click open and it gives me um, types within that. So I'm not sure how many are in this particular window, but there's a bunch of them, right? And it doesn't want you to have to load all of those if you don't if you're not going to use them. So I'm going to use a um, I hope a two by two. Yeah. So right there is a two by two, uh, two foot uh, wide, two foot tall. Um, actually, let's make it two by two foot five. So two feet wide, two feet five tall. And click OK, and that's going to load that into my project. 
And then notice over here in my properties now, that's the one that's selected. So the latest thing that I load, that's what's selected. And now I just um, place it in my wall. Notice that um, when you're placing windows and doors, it will give you a suggested center line there. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it there. And there we go, we're good. So one down. Um, now this bottom wall here where they've got a bay, I'm going to change that to be just a bay window. So if I go back to load family and I drag this down, window bay casement, 45 degree. So there's a bay window that's already assembled and ready to go. So uh, they've got different options. Um, I like the 45 degree one. It looks kind of like what they had in mind, except it's a window instead of door. So I'm going to click OK there. And this time it just gave me all of the selections there, uh, which, oh, it's one. <laughs> so not a big deal. Um, so I'm going to just place that there in the center of that wall. And notice it's Revit is cutting the holes in the wall and all that kind of stuff. If I go look at my 3D, that bay window is right there. And, you know, Revit created the opening and all that kind of good stuff. Here's my uh, kitchen window. It looks low. It looks like, yeah. So the sill height came in at three feet. Well, that's the same as my countertop height. So I'm going to want to move that up. Um, for now, I'm going to put it at three foot six, no, let's put it at three foot eight inches. And um, there we go. Okay, so back to my floor plan. Um, I think we want a door, a regular walk door about here. And then we'll put that bigger window in this wall. So um, I'm gonna put the window in first. So I click on the window again. This time I want a double hung like a three foot by five foot. Um, I don't have any of those. So load family. Window double hung open. My width is uh, okay. We'll go three foot two by five foot. Okay, that one biggest one they got. Oh, it's already in there someplace. I missed it. That's all right. Uh, that happens quite often. Um, now, I'm going to place it kind of weird. Oh, that is what I said. Sorry, I'm not doing the math right. Um, so notice that the window stays on your cursor. So um, you, if you want to place multiples, you can do that. So like maybe I'll go up here into these bedrooms and go ahead and place one in that bedroom and that bedroom. Um, so, but anyway, so then I'm going to click escape twice to get out of that place window command. And so one of the things that I want to do is I want to center this window that I just placed, that window I want to center on this window. So the way that I'm going to do that is to click on the modify tab up at the top and click the align button here and then click on the center of this window. If you just hover over the window, you'll get a center line. Click on that and then click on the center of this window and it moves it so that those are aligned. If I click this um, lock, then if I move one of these windows, the other one moves with it. I'm going to click Z or control Z. That's the undo button. So I click it twice to get back to where those windows were. Um, okay, this video is getting long. Let's move it. So let's put a door. So I have, let's see, what do I have? Uh, I don't like any of these. Um, let's go up to doors, residential. Exterior. Hmm. Well, okay, we'll use this one. What the heck? I want one that's three feet. That one. And I want it to fall back against that wall. There we go. Looking pretty good. Okay. 
Uh, a couple more windows. Oh, actually, a sliding glass door in here. So back to door. Oops, that's that's not door. Door. Double glass. There we go. Uh, big one. Ooh, it's a swing instead of a slider. Do we have a slider already loaded? No. So load family. Okay, there it is. 